trying to find ways to get my sims to be more involved in the build process of their own homes, and I thought there was no better way to do that than by stealing everything we plan on putting in it. One thing about me, I love stealing stuff in The Sims 4, and I'm pretty sure we're getting burglars added to the game soon. This is just a theory, but The Sims 4 for Rent trailer had this scene in it where it appears that a sim is breaking into an apartment with a crowbar. The kids these days will never know the trauma of hearing this guy at 2 a.m. My theory here, or my hope, is that we'll be able to be the burglars ourselves, which again, I have no idea if this is true. We'll have to wait and see when this pack comes out, but even if that is true, there are still some ways that we can steal stuff on our own in The Sims 4 already. Sims have a very high success rate of stealing items if they have the klepto trait, and it also helps if they're very high in the mischief and charisma skills. I tested this theory like a year ago when I tried to get rich by stealing stuff in The Sims 4 and it worked. So today, I've got this grunge Snow White. She's really going through it, just don't ask, okay? She has the klepto trait and she's also a music-loving animal enthusiast. And we're gonna try and furnish an entire house of hers using stolen items. Everything we're able to steal is fair game, however, we are currently unable to steal essential household things in The Sims 4, like no fridges, no counters, toilets, etc. So anything we can't steal has to be bought using money we get from stolen items. Oh, and she's got a thousand simoleons to start. Before this, she convinced Grunge Bell to give her a large loan. That girl is just so nice, she just gave it to her. But that is technically stolen since um, she's not getting that back. Let's start off with the closest house that we can find. I'm here in Copperdale. This over here is a rental. So I guess we're gonna rob the Price family. <laughs> it is so early in the morning. I do apologize. Let's go knock on the door. Come on in. You're gonna regret that. I really like your sweater. This is so awkward. I don't know anyone here. Maybe I should introduce myself to people. Gain their trust at least a little bit. Is that a pony? They've got a pony. Can I steal that? <laughs> This family actually seems very nice. Let's rob them. Should I start off strong by stealing their computer? I think I'm gonna do it. What else is in here? We have a radio. We have a couch. Oh, I can take the couch. Did it work? Oh, I think we got it. We successfully swiped our first object. Okay, let's try and take... Oh, I can't do it. I have to wait a little bit of time before I can swipe again. How long? All right, let's go back downstairs and talk to the family. I don't think I'm gonna let her change the swatches either, so everything we steal has to be as is. I think this might last like a couple hours because I have this exhilarating steel moodlet down here and there are six hours remaining, so I'm wondering if I have to wait for that to go away. But I really want this couch, so I guess we're spending the day here. I guess in the meantime, I'll just eat your food. This would be so weird in real life, but to be honest, Sims do this all the time. <laughs> the welcome wagon happens every time you move, which is kind of funny because when I bought my house and moved in, I was like, is there going to be a welcome wagon? There was not. A welcome wagon. Imagine this actually happened. Grunge Snow White just popping in your house deal in your couch and your computer. I also kind of don't have a home at the moment, so like I guess wherever I am, I'm gonna have to take care of my needs too. Okay, the moodlet ran out. I can now swipe and then we can go on to our next house. Yes, we got it. So we have now a computer and a couch. Let's get out of here. Maybe I should introduce myself to people before I rob them. Who do we think has good items in their house? We have Caleb. I'm sure he probably has some gothic decor. Over here, we have Lilith Pleasant, maybe a little less gothic, but definitely punk. You know what? That could work. Oh no, I think she's pregnant. I feel terrible. My detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Honestly, I think they could be friends. She, of all people, might actually even understand. Side note, look how good that grilled cheese looks. Also, we might have to change this hair because it's glitching and driving me a little crazy. So my plan was to chat with Lilith until she was done her shift, and then when she left, I was going to hang out with her at her house. But no one told me that Lilith was going to be working into the late hours of the night, and I was getting very sleepy. Not only do I need items to steal, but I also need a 
place to crash. Maybe I'll give it like a couple more hours and if she doesn't go home from her shift by then, I'm just going to her house. Maybe I'll order some food and then I'm heading out. I can't wait for this shift to be over. I'm gonna sit over here with my french fries and then I will be robbing Lilith Pleasant. Lilith lives in Brightchester, but it's not Lilith I'm worried about. It's her twin sister, Angela. This is her house and there is Angela. Angela will probably be keeping an eye on me, but let's go for it. I gotta build myself a house. Okay, what do we have in here? This is a very base game looking house. What's going on upstairs? Literally nothing. <laughs> What is this house? This house doesn't even make any sense. Okay, there is a third floor though. <laughs> okay, from now on, we are going to only new worlds. I forgot how empty these houses are. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick nap. I gotta be on my game here and I'm not really seeing anything that I like here. So I think what I'm going to do is swipe this painting because I know this is worth a lot of money so I can sell that to get things that I can't steal. Maybe I can use this to buy my fridge and we sell stole it successfully. Where should we go next? I can literally look inside of people's windows. I see a cheap TV in this one, so we're not gonna rob the neighbor. I need to go somewhere that I know is going to have items that I'm gonna like. So I think a good bet could be this high school year's town. I'm just gonna rob everyone in it. <laughs> Let's start off up here. I'm going to check out this house. Let's go knock on the door. And what do we have in here? That TV is looking pretty nice. I could could use an office chair since I do have a computer. Oh, but this chair would match the couch that I have. I really want to take that, but you are on it. Oh, she's leaving. <gasps> yes. Yes. I will take that. Thank you. Yes, she got it. I think I'm going to start getting rid of this mood light because it's going to take forever if I have to keep waiting. So I'm just going to keep stealing everything that I can. I'm going to take this light over here and like I'll stop when I get in trouble. <laughs> I really wish I could take this end table. Like some things I just can't take. I guess we could take this backpack. I'm gonna take your beanbag chair. Oh, no one's watching the TV. Go, go, go. Can we do it? Oh, I think I got caught. Oh, no, this is inappropriate. Please stop. Uh-oh, okay, I think it's time to leave. She's really mad. Okay, we won't get rid of the recently caught moodlet, which lasts eight hours. So maybe while we wait, I'll go back home and start to build my house. So what do we have so far? We've got this couch, this painting, this chair, a couple chairs, a chair chair for my computer, a light, and I have this computer here which I need a desk for. I think what we're gonna do is sell the expensive painting. I can get 7,500 for that and then at least I can get a roof over my head. We're not gonna be able to build anything big yet. So we're probably gonna keep this pretty small but we are going to be building in a grunge Snow White aesthetic which is really just gonna be like a grunge cottage core. So for our shell we're gonna start with something very simple like this. Then I'm gonna take a hipped roof and and we're gonna put that on each side here. So I'm gonna bring down the adjusters. I'll bring them out a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna add a gabled roof piece just right there in the middle. Since we're going for grungy cottage core, I'm gonna be using this here from Werewolves. And we can combine that with this roof trim from Cottage Living. I'm gonna use this wood siding from Seasons. And I think for that roof part, we're gonna add something different like that there from Growing Together. I'm gonna raise this up on a foundation. We'll add some foundation paint and then I think I want to bring this out so my entry is going to actually be on that wall. For that I'm going to be using this werewolves door and we're going to be using some werewolves flooring at the front as well. I should not really be worrying about the design of this place yet but I'm going to be bringing out this base game fence and we're just going to build this over top of our entry. I just want to get the whole outside sorted for now. We'll add some columns and I'm going to add my stairs right here at the front. We're going to need to add some windows so I think I'm going to use these ones from Snowy Escape for now. I'll add a couple over on the side. Maybe we can add some plants over top of this. So you're gonna see them hanging like that. And I'm gonna add some terrain paint just because this is free. Okay, I need to cool it before I add way more than I should be at the moment. But this isn't bad considering it's been funded by one painting we stole. And you know, Belle. I think it's cute. There's nothing really going on in the back other than my stolen items, but we can at least go inside and start adding some of our things. So I think for now we can do 
a bathroom over there, a bedroom, and the rest can be open. And I don't really want to furnish using items that I haven't stolen unless I have to. For example, the toilet I can't steal, so it's gonna be funded also by the painting. I also can't steal a shower, so I'm gonna have to get a cheap one there. And I can't really steal a sink, so we can at least get that out of the way. I'm gonna use this mirror here from Base Game. We'll get some toilet paper. We'll change the lighting so it's a little more warm toned. I kind of want to use some eco lifestyle wood for my wallpaper and maybe some cottage living curtains as well. I'm gonna wait and see if I can steal more art to put in here so we'll move on and I need a wallpaper to match my purple stolen couch. Maybe we could do some vampires depending on what else we get here. I really wish I got that TV. I'll bring my chair and my lamp inside for now in hopes that I can steal a desk and I'm kind of running low on money right now but I need a fridge. So I think I'm just gonna get the used one. Maybe used everything. We'll get a used counter. I'll get a cheap sink and we'll do the cheap used oven for now. A smoke detector just in case. And can I afford a bed at the moment? It's gonna have to be a really cheap one. Maybe we'll save some money for now and we'll just get the werewolves bed. We'll add some purple wallpaper for now and we are ready to go back on the hunt. Not too bad for our first renovation here and I didn't realize you could actually return the stolen objects. I don't think we're gonna do that today but maybe one day. I think I'm gonna just come take a nap, wait out this waiting period here and then we'll get back to our criminal activity. All right it is the middle of the night. She's in a happy mood because she just ate. Relatable. Let's go steal from the next house in Copperdale. Okay we attempted this one here. Let's go try and steal from the Watson family. I love how it's 4 20 a.m and they are all standing outside. All right we're entering the next house. There is literally nothing in here. <laughs> Why is this house so empty? That's why they're all standing outside because they have nothing in there. This house doesn't normally look like this, right? It can't. There is nothing for me to steal here. Okay, I guess we're moving on to the next. Do you think I could steal from the bubble tea store? Oh my gosh, I can. All right, let's see what we can do here. There's not really a whole lot I can take in here. I wish everything was a stealable object. There is a way to turn on the share the love, like, neighborhood action plan but then I can't get in trouble and that's kind of the best part. So maybe I'll just come steal this lone stereo. We were able to steal that. I came across the street to the library. They've got to have something here right? I want to steal a bookshelf. We could go steal from the college major village that I made. At least this way I know what's in there. <laughs> All right where should we steal from? There are four houses here so maybe I should steal something from each one. This one is the architect home. I'll link this video down below by the way if you guys wanted to see me build this. Oh she has food here. I am starving. <laughs> there is a TV here but I feel like I could find a better one on this lot. Oh but there are some nice paintings in here. I could use this for my bathroom. Okay we are gonna try and come take one of these paintings. Oh I hope we get it. Yes she got the painting. I can't even steal plants. What is going on here? Oh the gamer apartment has to have something good. There's a bunch of laptops. Oh maybe I can steal this TV. This this is a good one. If we could get that, I would be very happy. Although the resident here seems to have taken a liking to us. She's kind of been flirting with me and honestly, this sim is very cool. I don't know if she's like a random townie, but I actually love her. Anyway, let's go steal her TV. Can we get this one? Yes. Okay, let's go across. Ooh, this one actually might have some expensive art because this, this is the artist apartment. Okay, what do we have in here? The thing is, I downloaded a lot of custom art, so I can take these things. I just don't know how expensive they are. So maybe I'll try and just steal more decor. Like, I could take this. What is happening over here? <laughs> Honestly, I ship it. Okay, from the artist home, I think I gotta take this painting. So we're gonna try and take that. If our new friend here doesn't follow, Okay, that worked. Oh, there is some decor over here I could take. I'm gonna try and take this gardening stuff. That could look very cute outside my home. And these books. Maybe I'll try and take that too. And what else? Oh, those chairs could be cool. Actually, I forgot how much I like this one, except they don't have a bathroom. The only thing is nothing really matches my decor in here. I 
going for a purple couch. There's not a whole lot of purple in this game. So I guess I'll try and take some of this art maybe. Okay, we got that. And I'm gonna take one more thing and then we're getting out of here. Let's take that painting there. Okay, we did it. We're gonna come say goodbye to our new bestie over here and then we're going somewhere else. Goodbye, I'm so sorry. I hope you don't mind me stealing this video game console on my way out and also this lamp. <laughs> oh wait, there's more cool stuff in here. I just want this cutting board and then I'll leave. Okay, we did it. Let's go, let's go. Run the snow. There's only one more house that we haven't stolen from in this world. So I'm gonna go there. There is this place, but that's a rental and I don't wanna have to pay to get in. Also, everyone in this save file has a horse. All right, there's a little less going on in here. It's so weird like what things I can steal and what I can't. Like I can take this lamp here, but I can't take this lamp. Like, and it's not because this is bigger because I can steal this couch. Oh my gosh, this horse is coming in. This house is not big enough for a horse. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna steal from this family, but I do really wanna steal from this rental. Wait, maybe I can steal these egg chairs back here. I can definitely take all of this stuff without anyone getting mad at me. I'm gonna take that couch and I'm hopefully gonna take these chairs. Yes, okay. These will kind of match what I have going on already. I'll take that and I'll take that. I can't take any tables, but I can take all of these chairs. Maybe I can do outdoor dining. And after stealing from the rental, I was feeling confident. I needed a few more cottage core items. So I paid a visit to the Scott house in Henford on Bagley. I stole pretty much half of their living room, including some paintings, a wreath from their wall, and this giraffe, which honestly, I didn't even need it. I just wanted it. And I actually don't think anyone was home here, so I could take whatever I wanted. This was definitely the biggest opportunity that I had, and I was definitely getting carried away. I successfully stole pretty much every piece of art from this house. So with my pockets full, I decided it was time to go home. So I stole four of these cottage living chairs, all in different swatches except for those two. I also got another version of the high school years couch, which I feel like this chair and couch could look very cute together. Then with these egg chairs here and we've got a set, maybe that means I could move this into my bedroom and maybe I should sell these chairs because they're not really matching. Let's move our new living room set into the living room. Maybe I'll also bring this other egg chair into my bedroom or it could go on my balcony. There's gonna be so much seating in here because that's the only thing I could take. We also stole this green cottage living couch, which is nice, but I don't really think it's gonna match. So we'll sell that for now. And do I have any decor that could go in here? I mean, I do have this. I also have my massive TV. I think I'm gonna have to extend this house a little bit. Oh, this picture can match. I totally forgot about this one. I mean, maybe that can go there. Although that's gonna sell for 1200, so maybe we sell it. I'm selling the giraffe. That was pointless. I am sorry about that one. Lie. Oh, and my bathroom picture. I think I'm gonna put that above my toilet. My cutting board can go in the kitchen. Oh, and wait, this pile of books is actually a table. That is the only table I was ever able to get. I'm gonna put this art over here. This wreath I took can go on the door. I think I'm going to sell this chair we took and the chicken painting and the pear painting. I guess this one can stay. I do wanna keep the video game console. I just need a table. We'll add my gardening clutter outside. And I think the rest of the art I'm gonna sell. So after that round, I have 5,500 simoleons. And the main things I need now are surfaces. I need a dining table. Maybe I can grab a cheap one. I do have dining chairs. I'm actually gonna put that over here. I also need a desk for my computer, which I think I can get this one. I'll add my computer that I stole and another one of my chairs. And I need a coffee table, which maybe I'll get this one here from Horse Ranch. We need a rug. Maybe we could use this high school years one if we size it up. It's just kind of an awkward awkward like shaped rug. And I feel like now we just need decor. So I'm gonna decorate with this cottage living plant, maybe a hanging plant in this corner here. And I think as my curtains, I'm gonna use these here from the movie hangout stuff pack. I'm just gonna put them along like that, just over top of my window. I'm also adding some of these fairy lights in here just to go with that cottage core vibe. And I changed the color of my bedroom. I really like this paint a lot better. The only thing I really need is a dresser. Maybe. I'll use this one here from Horse Ranch. Oh, I forgot I have some chairs in here I can sell still. So that leaves us around 1,200 simoleons. I'm 
actually pretty happy with the interior of our house. There are stolen items all over the place, but it actually turned out pretty cozy. We've got our kitchen over to this side, our living room. We do have stuff to do like our console here. We can play video games. We have her computer in the bedroom. I definitely wish I could have stolen everything that's in this house, but at least everything was funded by stolen objects. So technically none of this actually belongs to me. <laughs> Just because I can never leave a house without landscaping, I'm gonna spend the remaining thousand dollars on that. There are actually some cheap things in here like this tree is only one dollar. I'm not gonna be using debug here, so I'm gonna actually spend money on my landscaping, but like some of these trees here are cheap from Horse Ranch. I can maybe size up one of the base game bushes there. We can add some garden planters. And with the remaining money spent on landscaping, this is what the final house turned out like. I think it's so cute. Yes, it is a little dark the way we got this house, but maybe for now Snow can retire her stealing ways, at least until we actually get proper burglars in this game. I also noticed a couple more stolen items in my personal inventory, which maybe I can use to start working on paying back Belle. Maybe. So that is all I got for you guys today. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any video ideas you want to see me do, let me know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.